What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Olson TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, before I start today's news, I wanted to throw it out. Thinking about making some new 2022 t-shirts. I usually do a new t-shirt every single year. And um, so, uh, two questions. First of all, what would you want on the t-shirt? I was thinking about putting drop that beat on there um, with some kind of design in Greggles TV on there. Um, or I could put pretty much anything. If there's something else you'd want to see on the t-shirt, let me know. And also if you are good at designing graphics, I would maybe work something out with that person and uh, send you some merch and I don't know, maybe something else as well. Um, so if you're interested in any of that, at least in the design aspect of you, if you have ideas about it, put it in the comments down below. And if you're a good designer and you can design some cool graphics, uh, send me an email, greggleSTV at gmail.com. But without that, without further ado though, let's jump into the tech news. We only have one story today and then we have a bunch of questions. So let's just dive into the tech news first. First story of the day has to do with the processor that will be in the Galaxy Z Flip 4. We are finally seeing some benchmarks and I do want to say that the processor is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which really isn't that big of a surprise. And I have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 in my Vivo X Fold and I got a score, I just ran it before this video, of 1237 on the single core and 3545 on the multi-core. So let's check out what the Z Flip 4 got. So this tweet's coming from Ice Universe saying, breaking Z Flip 4 Geekbench got a score of 1277 on the single core and 3642 on the multi-core. And it's gonna have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus. So I should, I guess I forgot the plus. My, my Vivo X Fold just has the regular 8 Gen 1. The Gen 1 Plus has a, a little bit better performance it, running on the four nanometer processor with a 3.19 gigahertz uh, processor and a 2.75 and a 1.8. So when we look at that score, um, I got a better single core, but I mean, it's gonna fluctuate whenever you run it. And then the multi-core score, 3545 versus 3642. So it's not a huge bump. It's a little bit of difference. And again, maybe the Z Flip 4 would get a better score after, you know, whatever. If they ran it the third time or, you know, they ran it in an hour or whatever that they do, uh, they might get something like that. When I ran it, I ran it twice. I ran it um, May 9th, May, today, May 19th and May 14th. May 14th, I got a score of 1230 and 3416. And then today, 1237 and 3545. So my multi cores, actually both scores were slightly higher. So the, the plus version of the processor, not looking overwhelmingly amazing. Usually it's somewhere between 10 to 15% better performance, sometimes not even that. But in day-to-day -day operation, you probably won't notice anything. It's really gonna be when you do more intense processes where you might see a little bit of an inkling of better performance. And again, nothing, nothing to crazy. Your question of the day is, which processor would you like to see Samsung put into their phone? So I have a reminder. I have a reminder for Greg. It's going to say it in one moment. I have a reminder. There are some notifications for Greg. Notifications. There we go. I have to set myself notifications. Reminders. I forget everything. But um, basically, I'd probably go with the Dimensity. Is it the 9100 or the 8100? That performs amazing. Uh, that I'd actually love to see an Apple processor and an Android device to see how well that would run as well. So that'd be kind of cool to see either one of those in my next phone. Without further ado, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that beat. First question of the day comes from Dave. Hey Greg, does your full three show videos on YouTube full screen on the inside screen and will Pixel do the same. Well, I have no idea if Pixel will do the same. I'd assume it would, but yes, mine does do that. I've actually done a video on this. I should probably do a video on the Z Flip, uh, Z Fold 3 as well, because I don't think I redid the video just in case people um, didn't really know. So I'm gonna play my, I'm gonna mute this, play my latest video, got it going, and then you just pinch in, and you see I get full screen, so you can pinch in, pinch out. So it should work. Might not work with every single video app, 
but I know with YouTube it definitely works and then any other app you can pinch in with that video it should work as well. Jajil Sazad, would you prefer a two day heavy battery with 45 watt charging which takes two hours to charge or would you prefer a device like the S22 Ultra which struggles to get through one day with 120 watt charging speed? Ooh, that's a tough one. Cause I, I can't even imagine I'd get two days of battery use anyway, but if you really, really got two days of battery use, yeah, I'd probably rather choose that. Ernest uh, Washington says, what's best, what are the best wireless headphones do you use? Um, so wireless buds, I personally, and not everyone's gonna agree with me, I like the Galaxy Buds Pro. They fall out of your ear sometimes, they might not yours, but I know some other people's they do. Uh, if you're talking about cans, you know, uh, over the ear wired uh, wireless ones, I do like the Jabra, God, I can't remember the name of it. I'll put it on the screen. I can't, the jab, I'll put the model number on the screen. Um, I'd also look at the Q45s. I love Bose. Um, yeah, those are probably the two I'd look at. And our last question comes from Samuel saying, I have a question, man. If I still owe some money for my Fold 3 from Samsung Finance, can I trade it in without paying the rest of it off? Fold 3 seems very slow for the price and the cameras are bad. Hmm, slow, I don't consider this phone slow. Um, so to answer your question, I don't fully know the answer, but on a guess, I would say that you probably have to pay it off unless you trade, yeah, so what would happen is you could probably trade it in, but you're gonna owe the balance of the phone um, after you trade it in if that makes sense. So say say Samsung gives you $1,000 to trade in, you could trade that, you'd get $1,000 credit towards the new phone, but you'd still have a financing pay, pay off, uh, to pay off the rest of your device. So hopefully that answers your question. Thanks for your questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.